I'm going to show you how to spin using a dolly peg. You won't make mountains of yarn really quickly this way. It's really a fun thing to do, something you, you might do if you just want to have a go at it or you want to teach the kids something to do to keep them amused for a couple of hours on a wet afternoon. So you need a dolly peg and you'll need some leader yarn of just a short length. I'm using homespun wool. First make a half hitch and then pop it over over the end of the, the dolly peg and then wind some on, working away from you. I'm going to wind quite a lot of this on. You don't need a long piece of leader yarn left really, en enough to store a bit of twist in about and a little bit to get the, get the new wool attached to it. So now you need to make your, to put your twist in, you wind, but you let the peg roll freely in your hand. And every time you wind round once, it puts an extra twist in this bit of yarn. The peg must roll freely in your hand. You have a very, very loose grip on it. Now, can you see how it's going into little noils now? Oops, I'm nearly there. Put a bit more twist in. Try and keep this area here roughly the same length as you're putting the twist in. It will feel fiddly at first, but you'll very quickly get the knack of it. Now, you must keep control of that twist, because if you let go with these fingers, it will just jump past them. So get a grip on it and keep the twist in the bit of wool. And draft a few fibres, making sure you keep hold of that twist. Lay the fibres on top of the leader yarn. And when you're ready, and only when you're ready, when you're happy with the thickness you've drafted them out to, then controlling it, just let a little twist in. And okay, make a line of me. I need to put more twist in, I beg your pardon. Just so you know. <laughs> it looks easy, but <laughs> don't worry if it's fiddly. That should do it. There we go. Can you see the twist going in now? There we are. I might be able to put a bit more in, just a little more. Yes, and I'm going to wind that on past the point of the new wool I've added so I don't lose it while I'm faffing about putting more twist in. So again, letting the peg roll freely in my hand and winding away from me, round and round the peg. But of course it doesn't wind on because the peg is rolling freely in my hand. So I'll just check how much twist I've put in again. Yeah, that's a bit stored there. So pinch, and you don't want any twist in this area. If these start getting twisted up like that, they won't draft freely. So you have to keep control of the twist until you're ready to let it in. Now, let's see it jump in. Pinch again, draft a little more, and let some more twist in. You'll soon get to know how, you know, when you've used up all your stored twist and you need to twist a bit more. I think that's about it. Yeah, it should just still have a little bit of over twist in it. Wind it onto the peg and away you go again. Let the peg roll in your hand, creating twist. I don't know if you can see that pig turning in my hand as I do this. I wouldn't normally hold it that far out of my fingers, but... I have loads of twists stored now. When you've got a lot of twists, you can really feel it against these fingers. And the state of my hands, I've been gardening. <laughs> Not very attractive to show you something on a video, but there we are. The nice things about getting older, nobody cares about you, what you look like. Wind on, and, and so on. So I won't um, drag this on any longer because it'll be like watching paint dry. 
So you want you soon speed up and created yarn.